Freaking heavy. There's a little workout in. <sighs> Hello guys, what is up? Today we are going to Ulta Beauty. We are going shopping and I have honestly like no rhyme or reason for going there. Like I, I don't really have specifics. I feel like I'm just gonna let the store tell me what I need. I just wanted to do a little Ulta haul. I haven't been there. Like I feel like I ordered something offline from there for a video, but like I haven't been there in forever. So I was like, Go, let's go to Ulta. Plus, me and Erin are at home today just chilling, so it's kind of like a girl's day moment. So she wants to go too, but she's also not going for anything specific. We're just going to browse the shelves. So that's what we're doing today in this video. Hit the subscribe button, join my fam jam, and we're just gonna head on to Ulta. We ain't wasting no time in this video, okay? Let's go shopping. We're here. We're here. We're ready to go shopping. Erin, what are you buying today? I don't know. I gotta look around. <laughs> I need to look. Me too. I need a quick glance before I make a decision. <laughs> Me too. I'm the exact same. I, I just want to browse. I haven't been to Ulta in forever. I haven't been here ever. I've never been to Ulta. She's lying. <laughs> so we're going in to browse and let's see what we get. <laughs> You're not interested in makeup today? Look at your beauty room. Ah, oh, calling me out. Oh my god. way was at Ulta now and I've been wanting to try their hand lotion so I think I'm gonna get this. I'm also gonna grab another one of these because this is the best body scrub it's isn't it? It's the best. It smells so good. It feels so good. The Ordinary is here guys. I did not realize that. Oh erin has been wanting to try some products and the prices are pretty darn good. I figured it out. <laughs> I just filmed her in slow my back. This is the one she wanted to try. I want to use this. I want to try it out. Yeah. All right, guys. My basket's getting full. Did you find anything? I found some stuff. Wow. <laughs> I found too much. Are you ready to check out? I found like a ton of high end makeup I wanted, but they're out of everything. Are they not like out of everything? They are. Like it's empty. So I was like, yeah. So that's why I got more other things but let's go check out back from Ulta the shelves were like kind of picked clean but I did find managed to find two bags worth of stuff still I don't know how that happened but it's really amazing anyways so the first thing I got is this way scalp and body scrub I've gone through like two of these and I love them I think it's like the smell of it that makes me love it so so much yes I wish this was a candle like rather than a scrub i would love to light this but i find that after i scrub myself with it one it like melts into your skin so nice but also you smell like the scrub so that's like bonus so like i'm just all about this okay um okay next i got another thing from way this is their hand lotion it's called dean street okay there you go i'm like hello camera <gasps> look how cute so i just want to try this out this is like a huge thing of hand lotion though. I feel like this would last me for like 10 years. Oh my God, mine was definitely used. So maybe it'll last me for nine years. But let's give it a go. I got a lot out. It smells really light, fresh and clean. So I do love that. And yeah, it feels pretty darn good. So I'm into it, cute. I was gonna put that like in one of my bathrooms or somewhere like I wash my hands a lot. Okay, next up, I just picked up a re-up on my On The Rise mascara from NYX. This is one of my favorites and I needed a new one because mine's used up. This one's really good and I have a lot of trouble with mascaras transferring, but this one doesn't really transfer, so I like it, I dig it. And I just got a new one. Next up, okay, I picked this up. This is from, it's called Lash Freak. Freaky Volume Mascara from Urban Decay. Like. What does that even mean? I need to know more. So that's why I bought it. 
It says 23.6% more volume. That's such a random percentage. I wish I didn't have any mascara on right now. Ooh, so I could try it, but this is what it looks like. Like that is, looks so clumpy already. You know, I got to just like, I mean, we're not gonna be able to tell anything, but I just really wanna touch my eyelashes with this. I'm gonna try this out. Maybe I'll give you guys an update on um, IG stories. So make sure you're following me on Instagram at Lee. But yeah, I it, like the marketing behind it. I was intrigued. Then this is a random purchase. This is by Wigo Europe. And it is a nice bristly brush. Um, I tend to like melt mine with a hair dryer, which I know is terrible, but just like over the years of just like blow drying your hair, they get all bent. So I needed a fresh one. <laughs> this is the biggest bottle of acetone they sold. Literally, look at this. <laughs> this is like, what? What am I gonna do with this? This is like a travel size, I guess. I don't know. Acetone. They always have a nail polish remover, and I always need nail polish remover because I take my gel -X nails off. Then I picked up the Corez Foaming Cleanser. This is one of my favorites, but I specifically got this one because it is travel size and I'm just getting ready for some trips. So I need some good travel size stuff. And then I just picked up one of my absolute favorite cleansers. This is the Beauty Blender Liquid Lavender. I, this is good for sponges, but I also like to use it on brushes as well this is the cutest thing ever that little section up front where everything's like mini it's definitely not cheap by the way it's just mini over there <gasps> oh, i can't get myself out of that section like mm, i love peeking through and it like shows me all the stuff i absolutely do not need in a mini form <laughs> so that I want it extra bad. So I picked up this little bitty Lancome Genesifique serum. This is one of my favorite skin serums and I never travel with it because it's so expensive. It comes in this glass big bottle and I'm like, I'm not risking breaking this. Can you imagine opening your skincare and Genesifique has leaked everywhere? I would cry. So I was like, oh my gosh, a mini and I assumed it would be really cheap, but it wasn't. Honestly, this looks completely dried out and empty on the inside. Like it doesn't even pick any up. So, of course, I think I bought one. Do you see it's like all crusted around? I don't know if you guys can tell. It's like all dried and crusted and dried up in there. So, I think I'm just going to return it. I'm so sad because I'm about to leave on a trip and I really wanted to bring this like really bad. Maybe I'll just refill it with my own. Okay, and I got one more thing. Oh! So guys, like I had a total nostalgia moment. Someone's cutting down their trees outside my window. I swear to God, our neighborhood, like if a tree grows, people have a heart attack and they hire the fastest tree trimming service. They do not want the trees to grow. I don't get it. That's LA for you though. Anyways, I'm not bitter about it. I might be a little bitter. <laughs> anyway, so I had a nostalgia moment. And I saw the NYX HD concealer and I'm like, oh my God, this is like what I pioneered my channel off of. I use this stuff every day. It was so cheap. Honestly, the only concealer that was good that I could afford. And I love it. I think I have some, but mine's like so old. So I wanted to get a fresh one. I just love this stuff. They did not have my shade, however. I think I'm CW04 and I bought CW02 because this was the, the one that they had like closest to that. Yeah, this one might be too light. Darn it, I really wanted my shade in it. I was so excited when I saw it. Let's jump into the next bag. I always pick up lashes. I feel like I've been going through them more and more lately, but this is Bedore Light from House of Lashes. I really love their light collection. Um, and then I picked up, I've never, I don't know. I feel like I have tried a pimple patch, but it's been a long time. And I'm traveling, so I break out on planes. Like they just made me break out. So I thought, like if I break out, I could do this while I sleep. It's a thought. Like zits literally develop on my face as the plane is going. I can like feel them coming. I'm like, what? Um, and then I, the Ordinary is at Ulta. We love that. So they have this salicylic acid mask for blemish prone skin. And this is just like if I break out, because every now and again, I'll go through a moment where my skin's just like, so I thought during a breakout, I normally do my Glam Glob Super Mud Mask. That mask is really pricey. So I kind of wanted to try this one, the Salicylic Acid 2% Mask. 
to see if I would enjoy it, you know. Next up, I bought the Dermablend cover case, full coverage concealer. Let me just tell you, I want every like foundation and concealer that Dermablend makes, but every time I go to Ulta, they don't have my color in any of it. So I'm like left with getting the things that I kind of want, but not like want one. Like I want to try all their stuff, so bummer. But anyways, this is a concealer by them. Their stuff is known to be extremely full coverage. So I was just interested in like trying it out. Um, I got 23W, but I think there was another color that matched me a little better. But this is just a, their professional full coverage cover care concealer. Let's open her up. So this one has not been swatched. Ooh, I like the big dope butt. Okay, this color doesn't look bad though. Oh, it looks light. But I don't know, in the under eye it might work out. Ooh, she is thick. She is... Thick. This reminds me a lot of that Tarte Cosmetics, that under eye, bye bye under eye stuff. That's the vibes I'm catching, I'm getting from this concealer, which that's a good one, so. And then I just picked up some bobby pins. These are $4, which I'm not sure. I feel like that I could definitely get these at the Dollar Tree, but they were just there and I needed some because they vanish. Then I also picked up from KKW the shimmering powder for your face and your body. Let me just let you guys know, anything that is Kim's and Kylie's in the store of Ulta, especially out here, I don't know other places, but I can speak for out here, you really can't get your hands on it. Like, it's really nuts. Okay, this one hasn't been used. That makes me really happy. This was the only item for sale, like, left in the tray. And then there were a couple of her body foundations. Oops. This is, like, straight-up highlighter, though. Is this just, like, a big highlighter? I bought mine in pearl. So I'm going to take some. Oh, my God. This is just, like, literally. I bought fairy dust. Why? Oh, it looks pretty, though. Okay, I'm into it. It's not, like, fairy dust. It's, like, ooh. Oh, my gosh. Okay. It's, it's like, growing on me. I feel like I might need to take this on vacay. Like, and just, like, cover. Like, this is me at the pool. Instead of putting sunscreen on, I'm just covering my body in shimmer. Okay, well, I like that. Um, that's cool. I don't regret buying it. Um, they had some different colors too. I feel like the yellowy one would have been really pretty, but this one's great. Pearl, yes ma'am. Oh, and then I bought, so because they only had the mini, I was like, if I buy two minis, that gives me like half of a bottle. So at least that puts me somewhere on the spectrum of having some acetone in my house. Then I picked up a mini dry shampoo. This brand Detox is a really good brand. It says Coco Colada. Let's smell it. My hair's not greasy. <gasps> oh no. It smells pretty good. I literally hate myself today. Like why would I do that? I'm just gonna have to take it down and like redo. Just bought this heat protectant that you're supposed to dry on. I mean, put on. Ooh, this smells so good. So yeah, you're supposed to spray this on before styling your hair. Ugh, please disregard my gray. Like what in the heck? Then I was specifically looking for some of these when I was doing my hair the other day and I realized I actually only have one. I have a cat. Cowlick, why can I not say cow? Cow, brown, cow, how? Um, so I blow dry my hair and I try to like pin it down so it will lay it down and I needed these to do so. I didn't have any, I only had one. So that only worked for like one side of my head. Then I got the NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer. Well, I bought three concealers. <laughs> Someone has bags to cover. I bought two mascaras as well though. Um, I don't know. I just haven't tried this in a long time, so I wanted to use it again. And then I got the Beauty Bakery Sweet Grace Bakering Spray. This is, this is a makeup setting mist. Hold it back here. So bright, you can't see. A lot comes out, but it feels really good. Like, it feels good on the skin. I'm not sure. I think this is just for setting. I don't think this is dewy at all, but... It does kind of feel like it's drying like down on my face and I like that. So yeah, I can like feel it on my shoulders and it feels like it's like not tacky, but like you can just really feel it drying down. So interesting. Like I know I needed to try some new concealers, but I think I bought like, I went overboard. I bought another concealer. This is it by Fair Minerals right here. And this one is in Light Fair Neutral 03. And I think I got this one because it was like, oh my God, I was so excited to have my shade. But this one looked so good like look at that like that is like a crazy 
Like a mouth, look at that. Wow, that's impressive. Okay, and then lastly, I just, this used to be one of my favorite brands. We always recommended it at the dermatologist. So I just picked up some CeraVe, CeraVe, tomato, tomato, potato, potato. This is their moisturizer and their foaming cleanser. And I thought I would travel with these. So I was excited to see these in a smaller size because they normally come in these huge pump bottles in the drugstore section, really good stuff. So just looking at everything that I got, I really enjoyed this. I really like the way both of these smell. So can't wait to use these. This is one of my favorite products ever. I like everything that I kind of played around with and the things I didn't play around with this much, just like kind of I knew about. But anyways, that is it for this video, guys. Thank you for being here and watching. I love you guys, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.